we were given the task of creating a device that would amplify sound coming from a far distance away. Using parabolas, this is what we came up with. It works. I have headphones to listen to the audio coming from the computer. The computer acts as a receptor from the microphone. The way the microphone picks up all of the sound is simple. All of the rays uh, and the light waves, sound waves, I mean, come in and they hit the uh, satellite dish. And because of the shape of the satellite dish, it's parabolic, it reflects all of the sound waves into one point, which is here. We measured that using the properties of the parabola. And they're all going to measure up here, so even small sounds can be amplified from the microphone and be able to be heard from a long distance away. The way we know how to line up the satellite dish is based on this device right here, which is a sight. It acts to line up the dish. So when this is pointed directly at the target, you know that the satellite dish is at a perfect 31.8 degrees off of the uh, x-axis which means that the sound is going to be coming in parallel and being directed straight into the thing, so you'll know exactly what you're hearing the sound from. how the spy satellite works. A sound source from over here produces parallel waves. The way the sound travels, a lot of people think it travels like that, but it really travels like that, and they're all going to be coming in parallel. And because of this, the scope, it makes sure that the rays are coming in parallel. Now the way the sound is going to hit, it's going to hit on the dish, and because of the shape of the dish, when it hits, it's going to reflect off of the shiny material and go towards the microphone. From whatever angle it comes in at, it's going to go towards the microphone, which is a secret to how the microphone works. The spy dish collects all of the sound in this area and moves it into a very condensed area, which magnifies the sound and allows you to hear it even if it's coming from very far away. The way a parabolic or spherical mirror or reflector would work is by receiving light from parallel rays and using the angle at that that is tangential to that point on the parabola, it bounces off at an angle that is equal to the angle it came in at. And the way this works for spherical parabolas will always put the rays at the, at the uh, foci. So an angle will come in and it will leave at the same angle, which will cross all of the points at the foci, which will focus the light, or in our case, sound. It's very similar to a pool ball bouncing off of a edge that is not perfectly straight. The satellite dish we used was unique because it was an offset dish. This means that rather than being spherical, it was based off of a oval, like a watermelon shape kind of thing. So when light comes in, it won't bounce straight. It, it'll bounce to a point that's determined. And using equations for uh, Using equations for offset dishes, we calculated the focal point to be up here, which allows it to be not blocking any of the rays and allows it to be lined up with the sight, which helps it collect sound better. You got it? We're going to be 15 minutes late? Well, I'm not paying. Only a cheese? I ordered cheese and pepperoni. Juicy. He doesn't suspect a thing.